Hi, this is a tutorial to take you through the if function within Microsoft Excel. Now, an if function is something to be used to display some text within a cell reference and usually based on a condition or test uh, to do with the formula and what you want displayed in that box. Um, on my workbook here, I've just got a set of sales figures um, in percentages. I'm going to use those to perform um, the if function based on those sales figures. So what I basically want um, is that if the sales figures here exceed 50%, I want this box to display bonus. If they're less than 50%, then I want it to display no bonus. And that's the basis of an if, if function. So you've got the first part of it is your test, which is, in this case, if it's 50% or greater. And the second part of it is whether it's true or whether it's false and what you want displayed based on those things. Um, the other thing to take care of as well is that if you are, during an exam, given a set of figures that you need to exceed, usually including that figure as well. For example, in this case, it would be anything 50% and over, but also including 50%. And there is a little trick that you need to know in order to include 50%. Otherwise, it will just count 51% and above using that method. OK, so first thing to do is select formulas um, from the tab there. And then on the left hand side, insert function. Now I think this is the best way to go about it as well because it does really break it down and show you what to input where. So as you can see here, three parts where you can do, that's a test. So for me, it's going to be if it's greater or equal to 50%. Um, the value if it's true, so the text that I want to display in that box if it's true and the text that I want to display in that box if it's false. Okay, so we'll start with the test, which is, and you can go for the first one in your list, and obviously like any other function, you can drag that down to include the whole of your column, um, should you wish, which is usually the case in an exam that you would need to do the uh, selected type of information. So the first thing I'm going to do is just click the box that I'm referring to. So I'm going to go based on this one. Now obviously I know this is 21% so it's less than 50 and it's not going to be issued a bonus. So I'm going to click that and then it is displayed in there. You don't have to do that, you can type it in manually should you wish, that's entirely up to you. Okay so the first thing is if A2 is greater than and this is the little part that I was saying that you need to in include if you want to include that figure of 50. So if I wrote this, A2 greater than 50, it would start at 51%. If I want to include 50, I need to include an equal sign. So what that's saying now is if A2 is greater than or equal to 50%, and then I can just put my values in. So if it's if A2 is greater than or equal to 50%, I want it to display bonus. And if it's false, I want it to display no bonus. OK, um, that's as much as there is to it in terms of how to set it out and how to, what to values to put input there. Obviously, you would change the information based on what you require. So most of the time in the exam, you would be given the text that you want to display in those boxes. And also you would be given a set of figures that you want to compare or enter into that if function. But this is the way that you do it. So it was from the formulas tab and insert function and then if function. And you get a breakdown of everything that you need to input. Um, you can change these obviously to less than or equal to. Um, that's based on what the test is. Okay, I'm going to keep mine like that and then press OK. And obviously you can see here, because that's less than 50%, um, it's 
no bonus. I'm just going to add 50% on the end here so you can see that it will include 50% now I've added the equal sign. Okay, so once you've done that and you've done one, you can just drag the little square in the corner there all the way down to the end of your column and you'll get them filled. And as you can see here, 50% has been included because I've included that equal sign there, which includes the number that you enter there as well. If I didn't include that equal sign, it would start from 51% and 50% would have been no bonus. So it's just an important thing to remember is that if you're wanting to include the number that you're given, then just remember to include that equal sign.